YouTube, Davy V TV, Davy V with you. And as always, with the cojones to ask the questions that mainstream news media will not dare ask. For example, what is going on with the black communities in this country? Absolutely disgusting, disturbing, and out of control. As always, thank you for watching Davey VTV. Roll the video. Breaking news off the top. Hundreds of teens flooding into downtown Chicago tonight. Smashing car windows, trying to get into Millennium Park, prompting a major police response. Within the past few minutes, shots were fired near the corner of Madison and Michigan. Now, we had a news crew on the scene, but they had to move because of safety concerns. I was there a little bit earlier, about an hour and a half ago, and saw police escorting tourists and visitors to their cars in the Millennium Park parking garage. The crowd was trying to get into Millennium Park, but there are checkpoints that are not allowing anyone under the age of 21 who's not with an adult to get in. So they're massing across the street on the other side of Michigan Avenue. I spoke to a woman whose car was smashed by people jumping on the windshield. She says the crowd began beating her husband as he sat in the driver's seat. He's now been sent to Northwestern Memorial. Memorial Hospital. I also talked to a woman, a Chicago native, who was appalled by what she saw. The situation continues to develop at this hour. As we mentioned, we have a reporter on the scene, but there are some security concerns. Fox 32's Nate Rogers is on Michigan Avenue in a protective position. Nate, can you tell us what you see right now? Yeah, that's right, Dane. Um, um, as you just mentioned, we're downtown on Michigan and Randolph. Um, I'm actually probably a block away from a lot of where the chaos has originated. Right now, Chicago police are trying to clear Michigan Avenue, at least from um, Randolph until maybe three or four blocks south on Michigan. Um, very active scene indeed. Hundreds of officers working this investigation. Um, there are reports unconfirmed by Chicago police of multiple people People shot at Michigan and Washington, also Michigan and Wabash. The Chicago Fire Department, we're told, um, is here along with paramedics and Chicago SWAT teams all assisting in this investigation. Now, the chaos here downtown began or erupted just before 8 p.m. Several hundred young people traveling in groups, kids seen jumping barricades into Millennium Park, also jumping on top of cars. Other reports indicated large groups trying to force their way into the Art Institute. This appears to be one of those teen takeovers um, that we saw last year publicized widely on social media, attracting thousands into the downtown area as well as to Chicago area beaches. The teens are seen with their cell phones out, um, Bluetooth music speakers blasting, dancing while recording videos, hoping the they'll go viral. Now, I'm back out here live really just within the last 10 minutes or so ago, um, my photographer and I, Raphael, we heard at least four gunshots while we were standing at Michigan and Washington. We ran um, along with another TV news crew just to get to safety. Maybe five minutes after that, we heard even more gunshots. And so right now, Chicago police are trying to clear this area. If you um, can see from where I'm standing right now, gridlock traffic indeed. I mean, um, Chicago police here in great numbers along with the Chicago Fire Department. Paramedics, we understand that SWAT teams are here as well. A lot of folks are being rerouted um, to nearby um, public transportation just so they can get home. We also have seen police trying to escort tourists back into their hotels. Um, Chicago police working right now to get a handle on all of this. We haven't received any updated information on if there have been any victims um, associated with any of this. That is the latest here in downtown Chicago. Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.